Mr. I am a division manager. That is very important. Do not raise your Very important. You don't talk to me like that. People are scared of me. Um, I, I don't even know where to start with you. I mean, do you even know who you're talking to? Yo, what's up? Do, do you have any idea, any idea who I am? <laughs> you listening? Okay. <laughs> Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt people. <laughs> Boink! I'm a force of nature. Boom! If you were from where I was from, you'd be fucking dead. <laughs> Woo! It means that from Thursday, anyone caught selling, making or importing will face up to four years in prison. The move follows the death of a teenager in London last year. Alex Bushell has the story. From the hunter apocalypse to zombie slayer, the names are over the top and faintly ridiculous. But the blades are no less fatal. Last March, 18-year-old Stephen Appleton was killed with this weapon in a park in Islington. Until now, their sale, mostly over the internet and imported from the US, has been legal. Well, no more. We're banning the manufacture of them here, the importation of them, the retail of them, and the possession of them. So we're doing everything we possibly can to ensure that people can't buy them. It means that from Thursday, anyone caught selling, making or importing will face up to four years in prison. The move follows the death of a teenager in London last year. Alex Bushell has the story. From the hunter apocalypse to zombie slayer, the names are over the top and faintly ridiculous. But the blades are no less fatal. Last March, 18-year-old Stephen Appleton was killed with this weapon in a park in Islington. Until now, their sale, mostly over the internet and imported from the US, has been legal. Well, no more. We're banning the manufacture of them here, the importation of them, the retail of them, and the possession of them. So we're doing everything we possibly can to ensure that people can't buy them. I suggested that what we all need right now is a hug. So everybody, if you could turn around or go to the person next to you and do a hug, it works. Are you? Woo! Sunday, 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 be here or be queer. Kikes are ruining everything. <laughs> Maybe MLK was wrong. How much for the little girl? The women. How much for the women? What? You're a woman. I, I, I want to buy your women, the little girl, your daughters. Sell them to me. Sell me your children. Mater D. Mater D. Eichenwald J-curve. You'll notice that as time goes on, the incidence of insanity increase exponentially. And this is where we are right now. I like to call this the danger zone. Also, just like, do you have like a live stream of our family? Oh, shit. I don't know. I, I think the other... One of the most hateful videos I've seen in a long time. Let me show you the part that I'm talking about in particular. That content was created by furries. There are fursuiters out there that are fucking puppies with baseball bats and decapitating them and fucking their heads. There are people out there banging the corpses of deers in the fucking woods. There are people that share erotica when it relates to molesting puppy dogs and screwing roadkill. There is an actual section of the furry fandom that is into that shit. No, there's there's no section for that. It's as much of a section as it is in any other uh, community of, of pictures of sexual fetishes or whatever. It's underground because it's known that it's messed up. It's not just some section, it's not something they promote. Furries are about anthropomorphized animals. Kind of cartoon animals, it's, it's a fantasy. It's something where the animals can talk, they can communicate, they can consent. That is just a lie and a smear. And what's worse is I think you're actually too dumb to know that. I think you genuinely think this because you've done none of the work, you're parroting lies, and this is reflected in your like-dislike ratio. A man has been seen flying in the city's downtown area this morning at 8.15. 
People are intrigued about how he does it. Some people say it could be some kind of a loop. All the experts who are analyzing these images say, quote, this is clearly an extraordinary event. Police can't provide any further details now as they are afraid to put out misinformation. Some say he's wearing a dark gray suit. Others think it's actually his skin. Officials have been ordered to bring helicopters back. Operators say it is too risky and dangerous. So I confronted Kiro about this and basically told him, look, I know that these logs are real. If you keep denying that, people are eventually going to find out the truth, and this entire thing is going to start all over. And then, Kiro agreed with me and told me that yes, the logs are his. That damn Kiwi Farms. I dedicate this song to Jared Holt. Oh, we, will go, we will go on go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. تحریم های یک جانبه و نامشروع خود نوعی تروریسم اقتصادی و ناقض حق توسعه است جنگ اقتصادی که آمریکا تحت عنوان تحریم های تازه آغاز کرده نه تنها مردم ایران را هدف قرار داده بلکه آثار زیانباری برای مردم کشورهای دیگر داشته و در روند تجارت جهانی اخلال کرده است جم اف یو فیل اف یو فیل نید تو میک ا ویدیو ابات می این نید سم هلپ هی آی دو سم آرتستیک اسکریچن جاست فور یو مین Well, Who knows? No. well, this person that I know has the straight up DMs and voice messages of Tonga being like, fuck, fuck Zeph. I want I'll pay you a thousand dollars, dox him, dox him, dox him. So I lost like eight hundred dollars having Kumate on my channel. I lost fucking money. Tonka's supposed to be paying failure, right? Tonka wasn't paying failure. Tonka owes failure money. Let's be honest. Failure says he was paying him. I don't believe it. Because there is another, like I can go into details, but there is a fucking amount of money that can't be possibly what they've made over the last few months. Fucking Tonka. Not paying people. Oh, hey, Tonka. Remember when your buddy, when a pal of yours had no food in the fridge, who does your show all the time, has no food in the fridge to buy anything, and then you don't give him a penny. A penny to buy a fucking sandwich? And then you talk about how you bought a camper, an RV, and a car? Kazimir Inovich for two. W women are canceled. He's talking about when I was bashing Vamp. No, not women. 
trannies. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks with dicks are canceled. Oh, Andy, why'd you call me a tranny? Shut your pink hair mouth, bitch. To own the libs. I'm the reason Donald Trump got elected. Triggers the libs. Own the libs. Like, 4chan, guys, you, you could be, like, if you need ideas, I've got lots of ideas, so I'm saying. <laughs> I, um, I could... I could easily concoct a scheme to get you guys international coverage and to bring the problem of communists in universities to the forefront. Easily. Mm -hmm. you, you, what, well, you're I, doing this weekly. What, what do you mean? Okay, um, <clears throat> okay, how about this? So say tomorrow, uh, Monday morning, on, I don't know, like 20 university campuses in America, Outside of the, you know, the sort of George Sicarillo Ma types, the, we, you know, I'm dreaming for a white genocide, all those types. Yes, yes, yes. Imagine if on their doors to their offices was a picture of Joe McCarthy. Right. Hundreds of them. Imagine just hundreds of professors, all open communists on social media, on their doors was a picture of Joe McCarthy. You know, that, that picture where he's at the, uh, the Senate hearing, whatever it was, and he's looking grumpy as fuck. That would send them yeah. into fits of apoplexy. They would be like, oh, the new McCarthyism's back. And then you could just hashtag McCarthy did nothing wrong on social media. The thing is, the alt-right can gain everything they want using social justice. Right. So he's making a fool of himself by picking a fight with Mr. Medicare. I, I, I do agree you shouldn't have. So like... um. I also have thoughts of like, um, fuck, fucking like, um, fucking like ponies. Probably gonna, I'm probably gonna be like doing like a live stream to where I kill myself. Don't listen to the haters. Chase your dreams. Kill yourself. All right, fine. Don't listen you to want, the haters. You want to know that was? You want? You want to know Chase that was my dream since the fucking beginning. Was. Yeah, do, it, do it, pussy, bro. How are you gonna do, do, it, it? do it? Do it? Do it? How are you gonna you do won't. it? You are you gonna drink for <laughs> You're not gonna time? chase your Fuck dreams. Up. You won't chase your dreams. I'll fucking do it. No, you won't. It's not gonna be fucking for breeze. You're a bitch. Bro. You're a bitch. You. It's not gonna be fucking for breeze. I'm going to the fucking highway. Right? And I'm gonna no. jump You're off. You're not gonna do it. No, no, You're not gonna do it. Doing it head first. I need you to explain something. Yeah. What have what have we? What what's the fantasy you've got about? Beating a kid, then raping him. What is that about? Well, I mean, I have bloodlust for, like, you know, fucking, like, adults and, adults and like, so, uh, children. Wait, Ross, this is a final question. Are you a necrophiliac? What, you mean wanting to fuck dead people? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you know, God. I, yeah, so, like... Now, now oh, come on. Others shrug and say... Oh, all this talk of a dumpster fire, it's just fake news. I have played in... My first year, I played in... Jim is done. Jim is done. Jim is on his way out, dude. Jim is done. He's finished. It's over. Real soon. Oh, all this talk of a dumpster fire, it's just fake news. Don't say, don't fucking call me disingenuous when I come here and have this kind of conversation with the actual danger this holds to my reputation, right? Fuck yourself. And if I ever see you in real life, identify yourself to me. <laughs> Jeez, identify dude. yourself to me. No, no, fuck you, right? Don't call me fucking disingenuous. Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's a... It's uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do, do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone. Right? Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360. That's your message. If you don't, well, you don't like it. If
I see you out there, doubters, naysayers, wagging your finger at people about this glorious stream that Monday Matt is doing, his charity fundraising stream to help out innocent children, bringing up absurd points that don't really matter, like how this is conveniently timed to happen right after what Ralph went through, like he's trying to hop on a bandwagon to generate a little bit of publicity for himself, or even more absurd, how Crouton T is a moderator in his chat, and how Sargon of Akkad is going to be a special guest this afternoon, and these people are all skeptics and liberalists, a group known for meme stealing and co-opting anything they can to try to make a nickel out of it and turn it into an issue about them rather than anything else. You're acting like they're trying to take what's happening to Ralph and turn it into some platform to hashtag Gamergate2 or something. I wag my finger back in your face, sir. Right back in your face. Don't be ridiculous. You people, you're crazy. You're acting like I've delayed Sunday Funny because I'm just trying to highlight how these people operate by putting a giant fucking spotlight right over their bullshit. Don't be silly. Donate to the kids. Oh, all this talk of a dumpster fire, it's just fake news. Uh, Jim, Uncle Jim, you know, he's probably almost 60 years old now. He's welcome to come on. The result, money that was going to go for cancer research for kids, is gone. That, that's the end result of all of this. So am I still on Twitter? Yeah, at back, Backworldsman1, if you can find it. And Are you actually just, what is that? It's just a shit. Is that publicly you? I thought you were well, trying to do that. Oh, don't get sure. it. It's a Twitter account with like 100 followers. If it gets tanked, I'll just create another one and then shit yeah. using that. What, what's, the, um, what's the URL? Uh, Backworldsman1. So call Benjamin. There you are. Holy shit, kid. Mm. Look at the fucking state of you. Yeah. Doc's in the Go and look at it. Go and look at look at his fucking oh, face. Fuck. Ooh. Look at his face. He I is like the fuck some fucking journal, sixteen year old like... hairless kid because that is what the Speedy Squad is. <laughs> was that a shot? Okay, first of all, my whole issue with frames is, yeah, it, it would be lovely for a game to just run so crisp, crystal clear as every game would look amazing crystal clear. But the thing is, there comes to a point where that whole 60 frames kind of thing where, you know, you move the mouse, where, you know, you move the camera and it's just that super swift, you know, crisp 60 frames. Now, that's cool and all, but I just, I, I lose the fun for some reason, like, when it's 60 frames. Like, that's just too crisp for me. Now, this is a rant. I don't want to, I don't want to hear anyone saying, how do you not play on 60 frames, bro? Like, 60 frames, 60 frames, we need 60 frames. Bro, I'm so sorry. Not me. They don't need NPCs. You are the NPCs. Trigger the libs. Own the libs. The FBI's out to get me. Hell, if the FBI want to, wants to come over, we'll this is perfectly fine. I got things I want to talk to them about anyway. Once again, it's HTTP colon slash slash www.destiny.com. You can find everything there. It's going to be a great time. You're lowering Twitter! Yeah, you're lowering Twitter! Yeah, we're all going to be there. We're all going to be there. One of will not be there. It's the calm before the storm right here. I forgot. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. But at least now it can't get much worse. But it did get worse shortly after Ole lost his wife. The three D's demotivate. Demonetize. 
Deplatform. Demotivation is something we've seen play itself out on numerous social media platforms now for a number of years. Be it shadow banning on Reddit or the soon to be introduced limited state on YouTube, the concept is roughly the same. Isolate a user from the general population, limit their ability to interact with others, and watch as they gradually lose their motivation to continue. Demonetization is the more recent of the three. Its goal is to cut off any and all financial backing an individual may have to essentially starve them into the gutter and hope that this lack of revenue diverts their attention into other efforts to sustain themselves. The adpocalypse, as some YouTubers have dubbed it, would be one such example. Others would include removing individuals from payment processing services altogether. Finally, there's deplatforming. This is the most direct and devastating of the bunch. Unlike the other two, deplatforming seeks to utterly remove an individual from as many services as possible. And much like Fletcher himself brought up when he stated that companies talk, users have seen instances of where their removal from one platform seems to create a cascade of bannings, removing them from multiple others. Hello in there. Are you ready to choose the impossible? Sound good? I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Thanks for the money, dummies. Now, wait a minute. No! No!